Let's talk about different types of acne and how they form. All acne starts off with increased cell turnover or the overproduction of cells, which leads to an excess of sebum. This combination of excess sebum and increased cell turnover can then clog your pores, leading to whiteheads or blackheads. Now the main difference between whiteheads and blackheads is that blackheads are actually open comedones, which means that the dirt, the skin cells, uh, that's all getting exposed to air and is oxidizing, which gives it that black color. Now from here, if acne causing bacteria that are trapped in the pores grows, it can contribute to the blockage and the body's immune response, leading to regular old run-of-the-mill acne, also known as papules or pustules. Now this papulopustular acne is very common, the pustules with the little white heads full of pus, the ones that are, you know, closed and don't have that white head. This is the most common type of acne, I would say. However, it isn't the last type of acne. Sometimes those follicles can rupture and leak into the surrounding tissue, and so if that happens and it becomes trapped really, really deep beneath the skin, then you have nodular acne. As you can see, nodular acne is characterized by hard lumps. They do not have a head like typical acne does. They can be small, but they are deceivingly deep and usually very painful, and it is considered a more severe form of acne. But the follicle can also rupture, leaking into the cells around it and causing a major immune response, which would lead to uh, an influx of white blood cells, which leads to pus or cysts. Like nodules, these are also deep, but they're often softer because they're pus-filled. Cysts also will open and drain, which is something else that sets them apart from nodules. 